sure signs of a recovering economy are helping stocks today, but will that rebound last, especially after the government withdraws its stimulus? Case in point, today's jump in existing home sales to their highest level in almost three years. The tax credit for first-time home buyers plus low interest rates underpin that sales gain. So what happens to the economy when they're all gone? Well, joining us right now to help answer some of these questions, Neil Sauce, he's chief economist over at Credit Suisse in New York. So, Neil, help me out here, because what happens when all of these special incentive programs go away? Does the economy fall apart, in your view? Oh, I don't think fall apart. I think it's going to be a recovery that's persistent, uh, but uh, I think it'll be a sort of half-pint recovery uh, compared to the historical patterns that we should have otherwise observed. Illustratively, if you just take the growth rate in the first year of recovery from the past recessions and index it against the depth of the downturn that we experienced in 08 and early 09, you should be playing for 7 or 8 percent real GDP growth next year. We think of ourselves as being at the optimistic end of the consensus of forecasts, and we're looking for half that. And I think it's precisely because the depth of the financial dislocation has been so severe and what got us out of the worst of it was the special support from the government, and that's mm -hmm. all to the good. But, of course, it can't get you all the way right. because it can't persist forever. You know, I keep hearing, Neil, a lot of folks say it's going to be companies that come back and start spending on equipment. They're not necessarily going to hire workers, but they'll spend more on equipment to get even more productivity out of the existing labor force that they have. Do you agree with that? I am sympathetic to that argument. We would certainly expect that business investment, particularly in equipment and software, will be a leading sector of economic growth next year. And we are regrettably looking, regretfully, I should say, uh, looking for uh, an agonizingly slow improvement in the labor markets. How slow? Got a few seconds before I have to take a break here. Oh, I think the unemployment rate could fall a percentage point, let's say, but that takes you from one out of 10 hmm. grown ups down to only one out of 11. Uh, grown-ups out of work. That's uh, not a particularly uh, happy level. Right. Still pretty ugly.